Hi guys, you're welcome to the Lawyer Studios. This is another episode of Android Programming. We'll be talking about the guest list, which is basically an app that can keep our guests uh, list and uh, gives access to delete each one of those uh, lists. Uh, we're going to be using the material design and as well, we'll be using the recycler view. Uh, we're going to design a contract. Uh, we're going to create the database. We're going to get all data and we're going to update the adapter. We're going to uh, have, uh, we're going to have the guests and we have the functionality to also remove each guest uh, added i'll be moving straight to android studio i have the source file of this particular application i'll be explaining the details how this application actually flows first of all i'm going to talk about uh, the build gradle or uh, the model app session where i have the dependencies i'll talk about the compiles uh, the android support app compiled version 7 24.2.0 we also have the support recycler view uh, which is version 7, 24.1.1. Uh, we have the text compiled and the uh, compiled file tree. Uh, let's look at the build gradle. We still maintain the dependencies of the class part. What about we'll be using the Android tools uh, build gradle 2.1.0? I'll uh, be moving straight to the rest where I have the layout of this particular application. In the layout, I have the activity main and the guest list item XML. Let's look at the activity main XML, which is the uh, launcher UI of this particular uh, guest list application. Go to the text. This is a linear layout with the, with the Android layout with height match payment. The rotation is vertical with a padding of 16 dp. And the context is calling the, the, the main activity, you know. And we have a linear layout right inside the parent linear layout, uh, which houses the edit text for the, you know, this actually has an idea of our uh, person name at the text. You no, know, this actually have a, a hint of guest name, and the input type is text person name. You know, with a capital word. Uh, we have the text appearance for it. We have another edit text, which is actually for the uh, number. You know, we are sending an ID to it called party count edit text, uh, with a width of forty dp, and the height is wrap content. Uh, we have a button, and uh, this button is. Uh, we are sending an ID to called add to wait list button where the layout with an ID is match parent and wrap content respectively with a la layout margin bottom ADP and the margin top ADP. Uh, there is a background calling from the color uh, where is the color primary which is like a, a blue. What about the on click? Uh, we, ask, we actually assign an on click to it. What about it as uh, a tag of add to wait list and the text on it is add. All right. Uh, we have a recycler view that is actually going to show the list of each guest. This is what this recycler tag is actually going to do. Let's get to look at the guest list item XML. This is a linear layout with the layout width of match parent and the layout height of 60 dp. The gravity is sent to vertical while the rotation is horizontal. It has a text view. What about we assign an ID to it called party size text view with the layout width and height 40 dp uh, for both. The layout graphic is center, the background is calling the drawable circle, and the font family is sans serif. And the graffiti is center, the text color is calling white, while the text size is 16xp. And the, another text we follow is this is an assign an ID called name text view. Uh, this is actually go, holding on to the guest name, and the font family is sans serif. Uh, the layout height and uh, wrap content, while the margin left. We actually assign the margin to the left and it has a layout width of one. Let's get to look at the drawable. We only have the circle XML we talked about, which actually has a shape tag and the solid of uh, calling the color primary from the color uh, tag. Let's get to look at the colors because we actually assigned some primary color. This is the color primary light. Uh, this is for the color primary itself, which is a sort of blue. Uh, we have the the dark blue and we have uh, the orange color let's get to look at the java classes now we have a sub package which has the data what about we have the test utility the waitlist contract because we're going to actually create a contract we're going to create a db helper and uh that's going to actually sit in the data uh sub directory this is a sub package and then the main activity and the guest links adapter are sitting outside uh, the subdirectory. Let's get to look at the main activity of this particular uh, application. We imported the content values, the cursor, SQLite database, 
have compact activity, the recycler view, the item touch helper, and as well, we call on the data uh, package, whereby we call the waitlist contract and the waitlist DB helper uh, method. Uh, the main activity extent of compact activity, whereby we instantiate some fields, the guest list adapter, the SQLite database, the edit text, uh, whereby we assign M new guest name edit text and the M new party size edit text. Uh, we, also, we also have the final static string. This is a log tag. Whereby we instantiate the main activity class to get the simple name method. The onCreate method is going to set the onCreate uh, save the instance state. Where you set the content view to the layout activity main XML we just talked about. Uh, we have the recycler view. Whereby we give it uh, the wait list recycler view. We're going to set the local attributes to corresponding views. Uh, whereby we're going to call the ID or guest list view. We set it to the waste list recycler view. The same thing goes for the person name, edit text, and the party count, edit text. We all, we all set it to this corresponding view. We're going to set the layout of the recycler view because it's a list. However, we're going to use the linear layout. We set the layout manager to the wait list recycler view. Uh, we're going to create a DB helper. This will create this DB if you run uh, the first item or the first time it's going to run. So we have the DB helper object being created with the new keyword when we instantiate this, the waitlist DB helper. Uh, we're going to keep a reference to the DB on the post or key. No, this is going to get a writable database because you will be adding restaurant customers. You know, this is a DB helper where we're going to get the writable database method. We're going to get uh, all guest info from the database and save in a cursor. We need a cursor to save all guest info. Uh, we're going to create an adapter for that cursor to display the data. You know, this is the M adapter object created from a new, uh, an object created from the guest list adapter. You know, uh, whereby we're going to set the cursor. We're going to link the adapter to the recycler view, uh, where we're going to set the adapter, passing the M adapter created as a parameter. Uh, from the completed, you know, we're going to create a new item touch helper with a simple callback. This is what we're going to do it, be done here, the item touch helper with a simple callback being uh, assigned to it. We're going to override or move and simply return false inside. This is being overridden and uh, we're going to return false. And we're going to override unswiped, you know, so that we're going to get the view order items tag and store in a long variable ID. This is where we're going to get uh, the ID of the item being swiped. Uh, we're going to call the remove guest and pass through that ID, how about we're going to remove from the DB, you know, passing the ID as the parameter. That's uh, straightforward. Uh, this method is actually uh, used when the, uh, the user clicks on to add the waitlist button, you know, when we're going to add a waitlist item, that's a guest list, you know, to the recycler view uh, at the bottom. So if the M new guest name edit text, you get the text, you get the length, if it's equals to zero, or if the party size edit text, you get the text and the length. If it's all equals to the zero, you're going to return the value. So if the default party size to one, you know, where we have a try catch method, you know, to actually impute the type number. So this should always work where we have the party size pass the int of the integer. You know, there is a number format exception, you know, and this is, this is actually going to log to, to, to tag gracefully. That the field to pass party size text to number, you no, know? and we're going to add the guest info to the MDB, you know, add the new guests and uh, get the text by uh, convert to string and uh, get this party size. Now we have the cursor, you know, this is going to actually serve as the query when you query the MDB and get all guests from the wait list table, you get all guests are method, you know to get uh, all the guests uh, being uh, stored in the database. That's what that's going to do. So this is also when you add the new guests, you know, add the new guest to the MDB, including the party count and the current timestamp, you know, based on the current timestamp, that's when this is actually going to be added. Let's go at the guest list adapter. You know, this extend the recycler view. This is actually going to hold on to the recycler list of each uh, guest. Uh, this holds on to the cursor to display the waitlist. We have the M cursor and the M context. 
uh, the guest list adapter uh, constructor, uh, whereby we instantiate with this keyword, you know, the context and the cursor. We have the guest view order, you know, as actually, you know, this actually get the recycler view item layout. That's what this get the guest view order is actually doing. We have the unbind view order. This is going to move the cursor to the position of the item to be displayed. Okay. And we're going to update the view order with the information needed to display. You know, when you are actually going to call the M cursor, you get the string, you get the column index, you know, of each uh, list of each item. You have the get item count uh, method, which return the M cursor uh, based on the get count. We have the swap cursor as well. We have the get view order that extend the recycler view. Uh, this inner class is to all the views needed to display a single item in the recycler view. That's what that is going to do. Uh, we have the constructor of, uh, of the view order. Uh, within this constructor, we're going to get a reference to our text view. So that's what this is actually doing. So let's get to look at uh, the MD data. Where you have the test utilities, the waitlist contract, the waitlist DB helper. Let's get to look at the test utilities. Uh, this is actually, you have the, the, the sack fake data. Uh, we're going to create a list of fake guests, you know. It's just like a dummy data. That's what this is doing. Let's look at the waitlist contract. Uh, this, we have the final class waitlist entry that implements base columns. Uh, where we have the, the table name, the column guest name, the column party size, and the column timestamp. We all have a string being attached to guest name, party size, timestamp and waitlist attached to each one of these static final string. Let's look at the waitlist DB helper. Uh, we actually imported the contract. Uh, this extends the SQLite open helper. Uh, what about the database name, the waitlist.db? Uh, if you want to change the database schema, you must increment the, data, the database version. That's why we increment by one. The constructor waitlist DB helper what about you have the super, there's the, the database name and the database version. We have the onCreate method. Uh, what about you're going to create a table to all the waitlist data. Uh, we have the SQL, the SQL create waitlist table. What about you create a table uh, concatenating with the waitlist entry table name uh, and its ID. You know, these are, these are the data type. is an integer, it's a primary key, and is an auto increment. That's the ID. We have the guest name, there's a text. Uh, we have the party size with an integer. Uh, we have the column timestamp. Uh, this is uh, a current timestamp. There's a negative fraud. Now, the SQLite database objects, we're going to execute the SQL. You know, this is going to be done. And we have the upgrade as well. Where well, the SQLite database is going to execute the SQL. So it's going to drop database. It's going to drop the table if it exists, uh, concatenating it with a waitlist entry. Uh, thereby it's going to create the SQLite database. In a nutshell, this particular application is just going to accept uh, a particular uh, guest list or guest name, whereby you, uh, you have the access to impute a guest name and also an integer, probably the number of each uh, guest, probably number one, number two, three, you know, that's an integer. And now you have the access to add this, and this is going to actually be stored in a recycler view or in a recycler list. And you have the access to uh, drag. Once you drag, and that's the swipe effect. The swipe is going to delete each of these lists. Probably one uh, the guest has been attended to. You need to delete stuff. Just a swipe on the guest uh, uh, list in the recycler view will actually have it deleted. I'll be showing this uh, in uh, the screencast of this particular uh, application. So you're going to actually see what this is actually going to do. And I will implore you to get the source code for my GitHub account because I'll be uploading it straight to my GitHub account. So stay tuned.